So after the news of the passing Tuesday of Pete Rose at the age of 83, um, Stephen A. Smith, and I don't agree with Stephen A. often, but in this case, I do. Uh, he went off on Major League Baseball. And the reason why he went off on Major League Baseball is because Pete Rose still isn't in the Hall of Fame. Now, before I get into that, I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody that takes the time to watch my content, watch my videos, both returning viewers and those of you that are new. And if you haven't yet, you were and you want to support the channel and support my endeavors here on YouTube and over on Rumble, uh, the things you can do to support the channel, it's free, is uh, just give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, before you leave, leave a comment down below. Those things tell YouTube that, hey, my content is worth being put out there for more people to see. So again, thank you. I appreciate all of you that take the time to watch. Now let's dive in, shall we? So this is from outkick.com and it's from Mike Gunzelman. Stephen A. Smith rips Major League Baseball. You let murderers off for less than what Pete Rose did. Ouch, that's scathing. <clears throat> so as I said in the beginning, Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle, passed away Tuesday at the age of 83. and. Pete Rose's accomplishments as a player are second to none. All-time hits leader, 4256. Uh, Major League Baseball, all-time leader in games played, 3562. Won three World Series, 44 game hitting streak. One MVP, two gold gloves, 17 times all an all-star. But the reason why he's been banned or made ineligible to be in the Hall of Fame is because of what he did as a manager, which he bet on his own team in baseball while he was a manager. And that's when he was a manager of the Cincinnati Reds. And he denied it for years. And then he came clean and admitted that, yeah, I did. I bet on the game. But Commissioner Bud Selig, now Commissioner Manford, they haven't budged at all on making Pete Rose eligible for the Hall of Fame. In fact, the man that made him ineligible or, or, or um, basically said, you got no chance, Faye Vincent, he came out and said, he, he was asked, does Pete Rose belong in the Hall of Fame? And he said, do I think he belongs in the Hall of Fame? I don't think anybody who participates in corruption of the game, as he did, belongs in the Hall of Fame. I think there should be a moral dimension to honors. Otherwise, we're going to have to have the ceremony in prison yards because we'll have to have the prisoner come out of his cell to be honored in the prison yard. I don't think that's a good thing. He also con concluded, this is the article on Breitbart, that Rose was never fully contrite over his gambling issues and would have been included if he had been. So there's Faye Vincent. Now, let's get to Stephen A, shall we? Because <laughs> he was on fire. And I mean, he was, he was furious about this. So here's Stephen A. I'm going to play this for you here. And uh, here we go. People make mistakes. Murderers have been left, left, let off quicker than Pete Rose had. And baseball want to sit up there with its high and mighty hypocritical selves and literally denigrate this man. In 2016, he got a stand, I'm sorry, in 1999, he got a standing ovation. Remember that doggy in Atlanta right, during the World Series? Remember yep. that? They gave him a sure standing do. ovation. The American public said, bump all that. We want this man here. We know what he did for the game. We know he hurt himself. We know that wasn't a good look, but it shouldn't erase 23 years. And they 100%. did it anyway. Pox on all their damn houses. They better not make any mistakes. They better not make any mistakes. Don't forgive him, y'all. Don't forgive anybody. Anybody in baseball who couldn't forgive Pete Rose. 
None of them. So there you have Stephen A. I mean, he he was on fire with this. Now, some of the comments here. Let's let's dive into a few, shall we? I agree what Pete Rose did in the grand scheme of things was a minor offense. Ghoul Pete Rose minor to find out more. Why does everyone conveniently forget about Pete Rose having an extramarital affair with a 14 year old child? I. Okay. That's a question that needs to be answered. Manfred let Astros cheat in the World Series, but Pete Rose gets banned for betting on regular season game. WTF. Hardly ever agree with Stephen A. Smith, but this is a good take. He's right. Criminals have been let off quicker than Pete Rose has. And MLB, let's talk about Shohei Otani. Does anyone seriously believe it wasn't him gambling? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. He gambled in on his own team, then lied until it didn't matter. We have tag players for recreational enhancement drugs that helped heal faster, hit harder, if they could at all, steal from the hard, clean player. Failing to penalize others equally, no excuse for an integrity thief. Well, I got to say this. The, 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 the baseball writers have taken upon themselves to not elect players that they deemed use steroids into the Hall of Fame. See Mark McGuire, Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, Rafael Palmero. Heck, even A-Rod. Well, that's another conversation. He's continued to make a very comfortable living because of baseball. He wasn't in prison. He was just ineligible for the Hall of Fame. His actions hurt his chances of that ever changing. Stephen A's point is you have to separate what he did as a manager from what he did as a player. You're allowing what he did as a manager to erase 23 years in the game and the accolades that came with those 23 years in the game. Pete Rose should have been in the Hall of Fame, in my opinion, 20 years ago at a minimum. At a minimum. He's in the Reds Hall of Fame. He's in the Phillies Hall of Fame. Stephen A is 100% correct. Yeah, he is. For once, I completely agree with Stephen A. And if MLB decides to induct Pete, Pete now into the hall, the Rose family should sue MLB, period. Oh, I don't know about suing Major League Baseball. I, I don't think he needs to go that far. There should be a national effort to get Pete Rose into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Well said. Rose, McGuire, Sosa, Clemens, Bonds, Palmero all need to be put in. Yeah, they do. See, I. I don't want to get into the other players that are not in too much in this video. But what I, what I will say is, is that there's some collusion between the writers that vote, the Baseball Writers Association that votes for the Hall of Fame and Major League Baseball, in my opinion, when it comes to these players that should be in that aren't because the holier-than-thou writers think that it's not right that they cheated. Well, if you're going to go down that road, let's look at the players that are in the Hall of Fame that were taking amphetamines, that were taking speed in the 60s and 70s. Isn't taking speed to gain an advantage the same as taking steroids, HGH? Just saying. Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. Put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame, and the reason why he was kept out will be memory hold forever. Cooperstown should, be, should put a statue of Pete Rose outside of the Hall of Fame. Put all of his stats underneath the statue, and then the following. This is why Pete Rose is out here and not inside the Hall of Fame. No, Pete Rose needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He needs to be in the Hall of Fame as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. 
So there you go. I mean, you guys, I'll, I'll pose the question to you guys out there. Is Stephen A. Smith right in this case? Does Pete Rose deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? My answer is yes. You cannot let the actions of him as a manager erase 23 years of a baseball playing career. It's time that Rob Manford grows the set and says, you know what? He's eligible come 2025. He's eligible. Actually, he's eligible now. So comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And to all of, all of you, everyone, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you that takes the time to, to watch my content, watch my videos. And with that, I will see you guys.